Hello and welcome back. I hope you guys are having a wonderful Saturday morning. Today's a big day, guys. I, I'm gonna shout out to my, my buddy Aaron. So Aaron is, uh, I know Aaron for a pretty long time. Uh, he is a coffee connoisseur, okay? So I think this is gonna be perfect for our comparison this morning. Uh, if you are just joining us, it's gonna be fun that we are going to be comparing four uh, separate grinders here, okay? We got the EK43, P64, DF64, and Eureka Minyan Zero, okay? Uh, SSP, MP, uh, multi, uh, high uniformity birds in there, and DF64 has MP birds. So I got, uh, I got the number system there, I got one, two, three, four, and then Aaron's going to rank it, okay? Uh, his most favor to the least favor. And then so we're gonna rank it. Uh, we're gonna pick a final two. And if there is like big difference, if one and two is like big difference, I'm going to you know call it. Okay, I'm gonna call which grinder is going to be winner. If it kind of like somewhat similar, and then we're gonna do the tiebreaker. So I have a uh, coffee from Hatch. Uh, we're gonna do tie break with this cof uh, coffee. So should be a lot of fun. It's gonna be a lot of fun. And uh, my workflow is going to be, uh, if you guys see me over the week, uh, same process, okay? I'm gonna be using the, my Bose temper for consistency. I got the puck paper on the bottom. And then I'm gonna be using the puck screen on the top. And that's it. So I'm, we're gonna have a consistency uh, four, uh, four shots, okay? And I already measured out the 18 grams of beans here. You know what, let's get going, okay? So, let's see, I'm gonna start with, I'm gonna flip the camera around. I'm gonna grind the coffee first, and then after that, I'm gonna pull the shot, and at some point I'm gonna send uh, Aaron out to the <laughs> lobby so he doesn't know which one is which, but, and also we're gonna be doing our RDT, it's called Ross Droplet Technique on our the coffee so prevent the static okay so here I go so this is my first again the RDT just a one droplet hold on a second here Okay, so that's number one. Okay, let's go on to number two. It smells great already. Oh yeah. <laughs> so this is number two. Same process. This time I'm doing with the option O P64. I think I'm gonna start with these two first. That was and, very quiet. And I'm gonna do one and two first, and uh, he's gonna determine which one he liked the best first. Because we don't wanna grind and we're gonna want we, we don't want to wait too long, so I got machine. So we are going to make two drinks pretty quick here. All right. Again, okay, we're gonna be using the puck paper. Just like so. And then, man, as you can see, I do have a lot of tools here. Do some little bit of WDT. Okay, I'm just gonna temp it. Actually, you know what, hold on. 
one more step. I'm gonna do some little bit of distribution here. And then, uh, okay, we are good to go. I'm gonna put the puck paper. I'm gonna heat up my puck paper. Okay. I'm gonna do the first shot. So I'm gonna be doing the exactly identical cup here. So I'm gonna pull the shot first. So he saw the EK43, but he, he's, he's not gonna know the second grinder, what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna send Aaron out. Actually, I'm gonna have him, I'm gonna have him watch the first one. And second one, he's not, uh, he cannot watch it because he knows which one is which. All right, here we go. So I'm gonna be doing one to two ratio. About 40 gram, that's what I'm hoping for. I got the 40 gram exactly, okay. Okay, Aaron, I want you to wait for me outside for a second. You got it. Okay. And the second one, you get to see it. Which one, guys? Okay, second grinder. All right, so let's get going here. All right, so Aaron is in the hallway. So we're gonna do a second shot. There we go, guys. Actually, you know what? It's gonna be change. So. So that one, that one might be a problem. It's, it's gonna be sit out there for a few minutes, but you know what? Rookie mistake here. But so hopefully it's not gonna change much. That's what I'm hoping. good here okay so this is the shot number two Uh, we're going to try to shift for 40 gram again. Okay, 40 gram. I'm just gonna switch around. Okay, 
and then I'm gonna make another shot. I'm gonna make a total of four shots. Okay, here we go. We're gonna do a total of two, uh, four shots here. And do the puck paper again. By that time, it, uh, espresso is nice and cool. So you're gonna definitely experience the better. Okay. So this is the number three. Perfect. Another 40 gram. All right, so that's number three there. So this is one last one. This is it. Okay. We're going to be doing this coffee grinder. I think we are almost done here, guys. Okay, I'm just gonna, again, puck paper goes in. If you, are just, if you are just joining us right now, we are comparing four different grinders to, uh, this morning. This is actually really fun. Okay, I cannot wait for what Aaron thinks about the cup here. I'm just going to flush. So this is the last one. Number four. Goodness, the last one gave me a problem. Here we go. Last one giving you a problem there. Trying to shoot for 40 gram. This is what we have to do, unfortunately. All right. So. All right, Aaron. Okay. All right. Here we go. All right, I like the black ones. So I'm just kidding. Okay. So you're going to start with the one and two first? Okay. Uh, why don't you start? Yeah. Start the one and two. Start the one and two. Yep. I'm just telling you which one I like better. Which one you like the better? Okay. That's it. Okay, and the number two. Okay. 
Well, I'm actually stole it. Stir them. Oh, yeah. Mm, well, I can already taste difference there. I'm going to try this one again. Yeah. Number two. Number two. Yeah. Okay. We got three and four. Okay. <clears throat> you want me to stir these two? Number three. Yeah. Man. Goodness. <laughs> Did I get the wrong ones? No, 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 no. <clears throat> no, not at all. Interesting. Okay, so. What, what, okay, you know what? Hold on. Go ahead. Uh, okay, what do you like about number two, Aaron? So I think just between the two. Uh -huh. um, Two, it was just a little bit less acidic to me. It was oh, a less? tiny bit less sharp. Okay, uh, tiny bit less sharp. So a little bit more sweetness came. More from sweetness this. from that. Okay. Yeah. That um, one. And then yeah, one was just it was just a little sharper. Sharper. Okay. Yeah. And then yeah. for this one. Uh, three and four were, were kind of the same thing. These two were closer than these two. Mm -hmm. I feel like. Um, but yeah, same thing here. I got a little more sweetness. Sweetness. And a little more um, acid. For this well, okay, so so I think I got I, I can see your theme going. Okay. okay, so I think I think I, I can see the theme. Figuring out my taste. Yes, yeah, so I think Aaron likes the kind of like a lot more clary in uh, his uh, coffee there. And then, okay, so between these two, mm -hmm. yeah. Which one about these? Yeah, two? yeah. All right, let me. So so right now, so we have. I I think I know what he likes so far. Oh, you know, I'm going to get you some water, Aaron, okay? Yeah, thank you. So I'm going to get some water. You're going to be washed down. Hold on. Water time, please. Okay. 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 Alright, so we are back. Hold on. Here I go. Right. So, so far, Aaron likes number two and number three. Mm -hmm. And uh, so now we're going to pick so two and three. Let's try two one more time. Okay, number two one more time. <clears throat> so, I think so far, I think I know what he likes. So, two and three should be a really good comparison. Very close. Very close. Interesting. Um, at least from what I taste. Okay. I think I think I'm leaning a little more number two. Number two. Okay. So, so here's the result. You know what? So he likes number two. So here's what we're gonna do. Okay. <laughs> Goodness. I mean, we're gonna do another blind taste. Okay. So, so. <coughs> <laughs> All right. <coughs> it's the excitement. Wow. Okay. So, so here's what we're gonna do. Uh, I'm not gonna change the grinder setting this time. Okay. But I'm gonna be using the same grinder setting. I'm gonna be using hatch. So we're gonna go tiebreaker with the hatch coffee here. Uh, it's called uh, Syria CWS Wash Red Bourbon. Okay. It's coming from. Uh, let's see here. Uh, I think this come from Rwanda. Yeah, Rwanda. Okay, Rwanda coffee. I already uh, me oh, wait. Uh, here we go. I already measured that here already. So I'm gonna send. 
But the thing is, uh, even though if I'm going to send him out, okay, he knows what uh, one of them is, okay? So I'm not going to... So, okay, so I'm going to tell you one first because number two is the EK43. The fact, yeah, fact is if I'm going to put this one, grind it, he knows what that sound like. Yeah, so <laughs> this is no-brainer. So EK is number two, but he doesn't know what number three is. So I'm going to... Uh, I'm gonna say, but uh, I'm gonna dial in this one first right now. Okay, so let's brew with this coffee. Yeah. So he picked out, picked out the most expensive coffee grinder. Is that good or bad? No, no. I mean, it's not. It's not good or bad <laughs> because you like the most clarity. The 98 millimeter give you that, uh, you know, the clarity in the flavor. Okay. It doesn't give you a lot of texture. It does, but it's different kind of texture. So, yeah, that's good. All right. I would imagine this grind is more uniform. Oh, yeah. yeah. Much, much more uniform there. Because, I mean, you are talking about 98 millimeter. Mm -hmm. uh, compared to, you know, I mean, your fellow oats, mm -hmm. the 64 millimeter. Oh, so, I mean, yeah, that's, I mean, that, that's a big difference. Okay. Why, why you're doing this? Why why do you put uh, paper at the bottom of your uh, filter? paper? Because I like to filter out the the oil. Mm -hmm. Some people don't. So some people, you know, they like the oil, having a lot of crema. Yeah. And also give you that a lot of cleaner baskets. Okay. But it's all you know. That's part of my routine. But you know what? I mean, some yeah. people like it. Some people don't. So it's not for everybody. But. It's fun, you know what I mean? It's, <laughs> so making coffee is like, you know, mainly about, you know, how enjoyable. Oh yeah. You know? Well, and it's your, I, I know you've done a little bit of testing here, but <laughs> so it's probably just what you've worked out. Mm-hmm. And it will also give you that really clean uh, uh, puck there, the taste. Okay, I'm just gonna. I usually prefer a uh, filter over like something like a French press anyways, so. Oh gosh, yeah. Because the filter, give you the filter out the oil too, so. Hold on, where is it? There we go. Say hi to my uh, wife and girls if you're watching. They're watching right now? <laughs> you don't know? I sent them the okay. link, but. The How old is your, how old is your kids? Four, well, almost four. My oldest will be four next month, and then uh, we have a five and a half month old. Wow. Yeah. Ooh, five and a half month. She was born on. Man. That one smells a lot more fruity. Mm hmm, should be. Okay, so this the. Uh, Coffee from Rwanda, uh, from Hatch. So, so this coffee is going to be a tie break, a tie breaker here. Okay. Okay. I think we should be okay. I think we don't have to mess with the grinder setting much. I'm just gonna heat up my. And then after that, I'm going to send Erin out to the hallway. We're going to do the rest of them. So Erin, so what, uh, so have, so far, what is your favorite coffee roaster? Well, um, gosh, well, I'm going to go local uh -huh. just cause I, you know, like to support local. I, I'd say Presta. You like Presta? Okay. Yeah. Presta. Some others I like too, but they're usually my go-to. Okay. All right, Aaron, I'm gonna send you out. All right. So we're gonna be doing uh, the number three grinder here. Number three grinder. So number three is this, okay. We 
we're going to do the another RDT method. It's going to be, I'm not changing the grinder setting from previous. I'm going to be trying to shoot for about 45 grams for second shot as well. Okay. So give you that, you know, kind of like uniform. Okay. There we go. So this is the, our last. I'm going to about 45 grand. It's more like turbo shot there. Perfect. All right, buddy. Okay, here we go. Two? Yep. So I asked you about that paper because I have a. I know you said you have your friend Dylan watching over there, and my friend Dylan is watching. Yep. And he was asking about it. He used to be a barista, but he's also a coffee nerd with me. Oh, so good. He's my he's my coffee bud. What's up, Dylan? <laughs> it's gonna be lighter because it's gonna be both under extracted. Okay. Yeah, I, uh, I was gonna guess that because I can yeah. taste, oh. but kind of like that grassy yeah. feel you yeah. get, yeah. or the yeah taste. You know what I'm saying? So they are even lighter than before. Ooh. Ah, interesting. Okay. I'm gonna try number. Two. So right now, Aaron's drinking the. It's not a perfectly dialed in espresso. It's more like mediocre shot. So. Interesting, okay. Aries, I mean, th this is great information so far. I, li I think I like this coffee better. Okay, sure. Okay, so you okay, so Aaron likes this coffee better, the hatch. All right. Mm. So, they're pretty close. Okay. I feel like this one is a little more under extracted because I get I That's right. that, okay. Like, okay. that underdeveloped kind of uh, taste. But I mean, overall, okay, so overall, kind of like which one comes to you? Man. Just more time, sorry. Um, number two again. Number two again. I don't Brenda. know if it's different, but number two. Wow. Man. So, okay, so, so Arian picked out the most expensive grinder in our. <laughs> 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 okay, so, so Aaron picked out the EK-43, okay, EK-43 as his the first choice. <laughs> and number two is the, the option O, okay, with the high uniformity SSP. And They're really close. And uh, what about number three and four? These, you mean? Yeah. These two? Oh, man, I don't know. Let me try them again. Okay, so we're going to go pick out number three and four. Just between the two of them? Yeah, between the two. Ooh. Big difference on that one. Big, because uh, once you cool down, right? Yeah, so a it's, it's, a, it's a lot different than before. Oh, man. So we are number mm. three and four. But by the way, if you guys are watching us right now, so this is not exactly the scientifically you know, measure, but is a one person's point of view, okay? So this is one person's point of view, but so far... And probably not even a good one. No, no, but it's all right. <laughs> Who cares? I think uh, number one. Number one, okay. Between so Between these two. Yes. So number one is uh, for Aaron's pick, 
Number one is a EK43. Number two is an option O. P64 with SSP, the high uniformity. Uh, you guys see the theme there? He likes the high uniformity, okay? The wear balanced, uh, but uh, more clarity. And the number three is the DF64 multi burst, the uh, multi purpose burst. And number four is the, obviously the Eureka Minion Zero, okay? So, I mean, I think. You know what? I think I'm gonna give. Uh, I'm gonna do one more shot. Okay, I'm gonna dial in the EK43 <laughs> slightly. Okay, so he can experience the, this uh, cup of coffee properly. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna do. Let's see here. We are right now. I'm currently setting a number. Goodness, number seven, like 0 0.7, 0 0.8. I have to go even finer. Maybe I have to go even like 0.5. Okay, 0.5 there. So let's give uh, Aaron the, the proper the espresso experience here. So let's get, uh, get him the, the 98 millimeter. Okay, I'm going to measure that 18 gram. All right. So hopefully he's going to tell the difference between the properly dialed in espresso versus, you know, under extracted. Okay. You know, hold on, I'm going to do the quick RDT on this one. I wonder, I'm going to do without the puck paper this time. See if he can tell the difference. Yeah. It smells really good being ground. Mm -hmm. So we just even go finer than before. So right now we are at 0.5. That's pretty fine. Okay. I'm still going to do the puck screen here. All right. I'm going to put another shot for Aaron. So this one, we're going to do some flow control. There we go. Still fast, but better than before. There you go, buddy. Try that. So that is, uh, let me know. I think it is better than before, but it's going to be different. It smells different. That's good. Yeah. That's real nice. So that's the very clear. They give it a lot more clarity. But again, so this is the one coffee. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that, um, that kind of like grassiness, mm -hmm. I don't taste any more on it. I wonder. Okay, I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna do. You know what? Since we, uh, he's right here, I'm. <laughs> I'm gonna do one more. Give it a one more chance. Uh, one more time with. P sixty four. Man. Hold on. So let's give it a P sixty four. One more chance. One more time. We are. We are on a row here. <laughs> Okay. Have you bouncing off the wall soon? Yeah, I mean you don't have to finish it. Yeah. <laughs> That's the whole point. So right now we are doing the P sixty four. Okay, Ryan, the proper shot of P sixty four right now.
I'm very curious for myself. So we got the P64 going. Again, without the puck paper as well. So you like the with puck paper or without the puck paper? Um, well, can you I tell mean, the difference? I, I could, yeah. I mean, this was good. Okay. Um, but it could just be because it was sure. extracted better. Yeah, better, exactly. Yeah. That's for sure. Man, this is really fine. Goodness. Man, yeah. As you can see, has a lot of space between. Like dust. Oh yeah. So do you know EK43 makes Turkish coffee? The oh, blades. Yeah. This well? Oh yeah. That one. Okay, here we go. So you're gonna put so hopefully this is the the <coughs> proper op oh, good option oh P64. Hopefully we dialed in properly this time. Maybe too fine. Yeah, a little bit fine there. Yeah, I think that, that yeah, that's way, way too fine. Here we go. But we're gonna do it anyway. We just we just gonna go for it. See what he thinks about the over extracted option out. Try this. This is over extracted. Last time was somewhat under extracted, so this is over. Oh, yeah. You like it? A little bit over. <laughs> but, I mean, it's not bad. It's a little, yeah, a little um, sure. acidic from the oh, yeah. extraction, but okay. Well, so, so, good. so your initial thoughts, so EK versus uh, option O, mm -hmm. can you tell the huge difference in the shot quality, or is that somewhat, you know? So obviously, you know, you picked the EK over mm -hmm. uh, option O P sixty four, but right. is that huge? quality difference there or no it, it was it was pretty tough to tell okay. or to pick between the two um it was yeah on just a split decision it was yeah just a little bit better so okay so so overall coffee is that i mean we are talking about the difference between you know the yeah the cheap grinder okay the it's not cheap okay but compared to this one is inexpensive affordable <laughs> versus ek can you tell like this much difference or this slightly difference or it, it was it was a much bigger difference on okay. these ones okay. um yeah they just didn't there wasn't wasn't nearly as much sweetness as there mm. were with these okay yeah so again so pretty much once you go after like like one thousand dollar level and actually it's, you know the, the fact is all about the birds okay uh thing is aaron likes the the high uniformity more clear so he picked out the ek43 and a, a P64 with a HHP high uniformity. And if someone likes more texture to it, most likely he's gonna pick the, the DF64 with the MP birds, okay? 
and then most likely he's going to pick out the EK43 somewhere down there. But again, it's all about what you guys like. So again, it's all subjective. I'm, I'm hopefully I'm going to have him uh, invite uh, Aaron back again. So now we have three different bird sets now. Okay, we have the SSP MP birds, high uniformity, and also Caspers. Okay. So we're going to have some really fun test. Okay. It's going to be a lot of fun test. Uh, so is the rain ask what, what would happen with HE birds in DF64? Uh, pretty much the same thing. You know, I mean, if I put the HE on DF64, I, I bet you he's going to be pick, uh, pick the uh, HE birds because again, the, the birds, you know, makes coffee grind. So it's not the coffee, you know, coffee grinder itself. You know, just the motor anyway. So I'm going to big thanks to Aaron. Make sure to check out his uh, Instagram page. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then uh, you, you do what? How often you do make YouTube videos? Um, less often lately, but okay. uh, I plan to yeah. pick it back up again. Uh, I know you yeah. do specialize in photography, <clears throat> video. Yep, yep. Perfect. Photo and video. Yeah. Photo and video. So <laughs> anyway, I, I, mean, I hope this video at least, you know, entertain you for a few minutes. And uh, I'm gonna have again. I'm gonna have him back again for uh, SSP bur, the the batter of SSPs uh, next couple of weeks. Anyway, I hope you guys are having a great Saturday, and see you guys next time.